so we are on our way to Stoneland. It's in North Hollywood. I've heard from a few of my friends that it's like the biggest supplier of slabs. So that's what we're gonna go do today. I kind of have an idea of what I want, uh, but my mind and what I like changes very often but I'm hoping that they have something and it's not like super, super, super back ordered. And also it's not super expensive because we did get a few or what was it? One or two quotes. I can't remember um, about six months ago and they were just like really high for no reason, like double what they should have been. So I heard that these, that this place also has good pricing. So hopefully we'll see. And also I just got this hat from Mad Happy and it is so so cute. I feel like this color is always sold out and I went online and they had it. So if it's still in stock, I'll link it below. All right, we're gonna go drive there now. Okay, so we have our little drawing that John mocked up. And we're not looking for marble because marble is like really porous and it stains easily. And since it's in the kitchen, we don't want that, so we want either like porcelain or I forget the other one, but let's see. Whoa. This is a big warehouse. Yeah. It's a, apparently it's the biggest one in LA. And I kind of want it honed like this. Like this is not shiny, but I don't know if you can do that to porcelain. Maybe not as busy, but like I like those tones. Another girl. Feels like it has like a little bit too much right over here though. had some really beautiful slabs but when we met with someone they only carry marble unfortunately and we cannot do marble because it's in the kitchen we're cooking we don't want it to stain especially because this project is going to be a lot of money I don't want to do marble so we're gonna go to a few places by here uh, that she recommended and let's see if they have any porcelain for us Just show the movement. Okay, we just went to Stone Southland Stone and they were also they were it was okay. They just didn't have a lot of porcelain and I'm just coming to realize that like I don't love the look of porcelain. It's always very gray. It doesn't have a lot of dark or gold veining. And that's kind of what I want considering we have a very white kitchen. I don't want pretty much like an all white slab 
and that's what a lot of the porcelain is it's a lot of like smaller veining and I would want something a little bit more grandiose you know and but marble is just so expensive especially for how large our kitchen is we would need three slabs and she said that some marble ranges from like literally five to ten thousand dollars a slab the other issue with marble is that it's not super durable like porcelain is a lot more durable and it doesn't stain as much um so if you're just not wanting to get marble i'm like Ugh. so another reason why i wasn't super set on marble is because the durability is just like not as good as porcelain or quartz um but she did give me this little pamphlet for tough skin it's a surface protection uh kind of like a seal that you can put on it and you can either do coned or polished which is really nice and basically i guess she said to like watch the youtube which we'll do when we get back home but basically you're probably not gonna be able to see this but they put a film over top of it and it prolongs the life of the stone and also helps it not stain or get ruined. So the marble price point isn't holding you back, but just the fact that it could potentially get stained and stuff like that, this could be a really good option. We have no idea how much it costs because she said this is like a third party person that you would call and make the appointment with them yourself. Um, but it's definitely something to look into. But now we're going home because I'm watching a dog or we are watching a dog for the next like 10 days. And she is my favorite dog that we watch. Her name is Willow and she is like the most stunning queen cutie in the entire world. She's 12 years old. So She's little chubby seal. I know. We call her the seal because she looks like a little seal. She's so cute. She has maybe like three teeth tops. Like she's just adorable and when you guys see her you're gonna die but she's gonna be she over like and about she was... she's a lot of looking she's so cute i love her i love her so much i'm so excited she is literally the one because so i used to watch dogs on rover like two three years ago and she was the one dog that i with well there was also Winnie Winnie was a regular though like this dog isn't a, re a regular I used to watch one dog every Monday through Friday during the week out weekday hours because her owner my friend Kate she worked right next door from my apartment so um, I loved her but Willow is like the cutest this is the Haley Beaver uh, the Haley Beaver of pizzas Haley Beaver TikTok pizza I think I'm gonna make a coffee. Do you know what I say every single time I say garlic or anyone says garlic? Do you know what I say in my mind? Garlic. Yes, and then it goes into one more level down. And then I say, dare I leak my balls? Cool. Every. <laughs> I'm not the. Bro, it's from Zoolander. I, I know exactly what it's from. Oh, okay. Every time someone says garlic, that's what I say to myself. Yeah, at least my ball. Really oh. long one. But I'm mm. cut. Willow is coming. Hi. Whoa, that was so much. That was so much. That was so much. That cheese is so mm -hmm. Okay. Is this not on me? Action! Okay guys, so on this week's cooking segment, John is going to make, apparently it's called Haley Bieber pizza. It's, is that like a lie? No, uh -oh. the guy said it was Haley Bieber's like TikTok pizza. Okay, well we'll put the link to the recipe, the TikTok recipe below. I saw Haley Bieber make this pizza on TikTok this is what it's and I tried like. it for myself because it was um, like garage on pizza. Starting off with a large stunning. Of sourdough bread, spreading Basically just burrata cheese, and then Parmesan cheese, and then heirloom tomatoes, sourdough bread, and uh, 
Yeah, or any type of. We do vodka. Vod we, we're doing vodka sauce because we fuck with vodka. Any type of pizza sauce. And then on the side, we're gonna bake garlic with oil. And what you end up with is you just pour all the oil in here, and then you bake this in the oven for like two or three hours, and the then house, the house starts smelling like garlic, but like good. And like then you garlic. end up with uh, garlic oil that you can use for the next couple of weeks, and I just put it in the um, in the fridge, so we'll show you that too. But that's just a side thing. Wait, but the the can we put them in a jar like this, like a little mason jar. Yeah. So I just take so the we, oil. Mhm. Mm and I just pour it in over the forty cloves of garlic. The reason we have so much garlic is we get it with Blue Apron, and we don't use it all. So then I just make garlic oil, and then we do use that. So but I just, what do we use that for? This for everything. No. Oh. And then I use this because it's garlic flavored and it tastes really good. That's a lot. Let me just show you guys what he's doing. I'm literally just putting the oil into... And it's like a little boat. Are you worried that it's gonna move over? I go over the top? Yeah, no, they think I might, so it's not gonna do. Oh, okay. I didn't know. And then you just bake it. At what degree? Um, uh, 200 to 400, it doesn't really matter. 200, 200, 200 for like an hour and a half until the garlic starts to turn like brownish. So with this recipe, all you do is you cut the tomatoes, slice them up. Yeah. Are we toasting the bread first or no? Yeah, I think it is toasted first. I think it is. Then we're gonna assemble it on the bread and then you put a little bit of sauce and a little bit of the, um, Parmesan cheese, and you coat the bread in burrata, and that's it. It's really easy. Yeah, the TikTok made it look really easy, and it made it look really good. Um, we didn't get fresh bread, so the bread that is on the TikTok is a little bit thicker, which I think next time would be nice, but we just decided to just go with the, the store-bought bread. Some pretty colored tomatoes. I don't know if people know this, but olive oil is actually pretty expensive, and so you're supposed to use it, the type of oil, dependent on what you're cooking, but a lot of people just cook with olive oil all the time, and they're wasting a lot of money, I think, so you could use vegetable oil or something like that, but this is Italian, and you do use olive oil, and this is a super good one that I found at the store. So drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, and then I think a little bit of salt and pepper, right? It's not big on pepper either, so a little bit of pepper. Yeah. I'm we got the burrata at the store, but if you want really good uh, Italian food and Italian meats and Italian cheeses sandwiches. and sandwiches, try Bay Cities in uh, Santa Monica. They have the most ridiculous deli section and they make awesome sandwiches. There is a line. Like go and eat at the beach. There is a line. If Sometimes. you're at like a, on a Friday afternoon, there's definitely a line. And so just uh, check it out because it's really good and it's a cool little vibe and the people there are really nice and it used to only be cash but I think they take credit card now. So what we've done is we've put a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of pepper on these tomatoes and then what we're going to do is we're going to take those tomatoes now that they're dressed and we're going to put them onto the bread. Uh, Alright, we're going to put some butter on the bread. Um. Okay, hold on. I think Willow's here. Yeah. Willow's here. Oh, is that your best friend? So, Blake's favorite dog, sleepover dog, came and over now. And you really love her, her so much. Her name's Willow. She's the sweetest and the cutest little baby in the entire mm -hmm. world. She's a little tiny Pomeranian seal. She has heart failure that I just learned about, so I'm a little bit upset, but... Another best friend. We love her. We love her so much. A little baby seal. So she's, she's hanging out with us. Yeah, she'll be here for like 10 days. So, what you do is you butter the bread, you take the burrata, and split it open. I'm trying to smush them down a little bit, and those look great. Mm -hmm. Then do we put more oil on? Um, these have a lot of oil, so okay. we're not going to put more oil on. Okay. We're just going to take these and put them across nicely. So we got some really cool tomatoes here. 
Just pop them on like that. Those look awesome. A little bit of Parmesan on top. And we got bigger flake Parmesan because I think it just tastes better than yeah. the little ones. All right, so now we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. Okay. So we have the burrata, the seasoned uh, tomato, and then the Parmesan cheese. Okay. On top of the sourdough bread, because sourdough bread's the best. So here's the garlic and it'll just get to a boil. And then you can just keep it at that level for about one hour. And these weren't really cooked enough on the bottom, it's so we're getting a little bit crispy with it over here. So I just took them out of the oven and we put them on a pan and we're crisping up the bottoms of them. And we warmed that up. Mm -hmm. So this is warm sauce on top, apparently. And just a little bit. Don't have to go crazy with it. I think it's just to give it like a little bit extra flavor. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put a little bit of oregano. Ooh, that was a lot. That'll, be nice. That'll be yours. A little bit of oregano. Smaller, yeah. Okay. And then a little bit of uh, pepper flakes. Mm-hmm. Very good. So we'll take on a burrata pizza with some I sourdough it, bread. I think it fucks. It would be hard for it not to fuck because it's, it's bread. Really Cheese, yeah. marinara sauce, and more cheese. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think the extra pan toasting is is where you should be. So this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like that golden brown there, and bubbling. And then I just let this cool, and then I'm gonna put it into a mason jar and into the fridge. So here's what it ends up looking like. The garlic is all inside and nice and golden brown and smearable. And you just put this in the refrigerator. And for everybody who wants to see inside of our refrigerator, this people is People uh, were asking, people were asking for like. a haul today, but so we always have Blake's coffee and oat milk and things like that. A bunch of different sauces. No, we will pots with sauces. There's a lot of pickles, some lettuce. These are pretty cool. They hold our cans and then we have our eggs over here. Vegetables, fruit section. And then we have a cheese and vegan meat section. And then the freezer. We're going for a walk. And now we're gonna go for a walk. We're going for a walk. We're going for a walk. All right. I look like a little bit of a train wreck right now, but that's okay. You know. Oh, I was a little hungover yesterday. I actually have not even brushed my hair in a solid two or three days. So today's hair washing day. I think I'm probably gonna maybe take a bath, soak off myself tanner, you know, as girls do. So let's talk about the groceries. All right, let's go in order. Veggies. We got romaine lettuce, some squash, cucumbers, and then these Persian cucumbers. You guys know that these are for my tzatziki. Obsession. Obsession. I'm not sure what this is for. This is a butternut squash, right? Mm -hmm. And then cauliflower. John is obsessed with cauliflower and all of its health benefits. So we always get cauliflower. Avocados. Apparently there was an avocado shortage, but we didn't really experience that. So not really sure if that's just fake news. Um, little pepper dippers for also tzatziki. Then we did two tomatoes. These ones are for what? The, sa the sandwich? The sandwich. We're making a sandwich, a like faux chicken parm sandwich. And then this one is for a salad that I'm gonna be making. It's like a summer salad. All right, let's move on to some fruit. 
I always get something like this, put some tahini and chamoy on it, and it's a really good snack. It's just, um, it's honeydew, cantaloupe, and watermelon. Then we got some mangoes. What are the mangoes for? A drink? No, just to eat. Well, we, oh. No, just to eat. Oh, well, mangoes to eat, and then we always have some bananas. Oh, they are. Okay, next up, tzatziki. They were out of my regular boar's head one that I love, so I'm gonna try this one out. And then, and then we got these mozzarella pearls. So cute. This is for the salad that I'm gonna be making. And, oh, do we have corn? Corn? For the salad. Yep. Okay, then, okay, so yeah, and then this is also going to be going on the sandwich as well. Um, then this is for the sandwich too. These are Daring Original Breaded Fake Chicken. I have been trying to find these for so long. All of my like friends love them. Month? No, like it. six months, oh. six months. Okay. Um, months all of my friends have tried these and love them. And I'll, every time I go to try to find them, I can't find them. I've gone to multiple different stores, establishments, whatever you want to call it. Couldn't find them, just found them, so I'm excited. We got some soups, you know, we're not really sure because it's becoming warmer out and usually we get soups when it's cold, but John said that he wants to frequent some some soups instead of so much salad for our little appetizer for dinner. So we got butternut squash, which is really good. Um, we've had this one before. Then the Super Greens Creamy Soup. Never had that one before. And I thought that this one looked good. Poblano Pepper and Corn Chowder. Yum. And this, and then, brand, makes, this brand makes oat milk ones too. Oh yeah, we they saw. It's Pacific, right? Oh no. I don't no. Know, one of those brands. I think it's this one. I think the Pacific Foods now makes an oat milk version of like creamy soups. And then John likes New England Clam Chowder. So we got that. Um, who even wants to talk about fucking potatoes, not me. Wait. Potatoes are literally like the... Wait. Okay, all right, fine, 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 fine. Um, then we got the block of Parmesan cheese for the sandwiches. For the sandwiches. Some seaweed. We like the seaweed normally and we buy it sometimes, but I specifically wanted it this time because I really wanna try the Emily Mariko salmon bowl. I know that we're literally like a year late to that, but we never actually tried her recipe. So that's why we got these. And we got the sweet and salty and the um, wasabi. And then we just got like regular ones as well. Eggs as per usual. This is John's favorite Asian ginger dressing. Oh, and then I got an exotic, I yeah. got a one. Ooh, oh, so John gets be. this all the time. But then he saw this one, which is a honey ginger dressing. Should we try it right now? Yeah. It literally tastes exactly uh -huh. the same. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. What? The exact same. Wait, what? Okay, well, both are, both are both equally Both are equally great. good, yeah. John wanted to get some wasabi peas. Let's try this. I have my Invisalign in, hold on. Those are probably no better than chips, to be honest. Yeah, probably not. Oh! We also just went to Target, CVS, Kohl's, Express, and H&M. It was a big day. It was a big day. Ooh! Mmm, okay. it's just the first second. Yeah. It's just one second of hotness. You're like, mm -hmm. okay. Good. Okay, good. Let's finish up. Very dangerous. Let's finish up so that we can start cooking some food. I think we're gonna make the, the sandwich, the faux yeah. chicken sandwich. All right, then I saw these. I couldn't pass these up because I can't pass up anything with tahini. And these are just little tostadas with tahini. I got the chili lime lays. These are really good. I purchased these a few times and they never disappoint. They never disappoint. 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 Never disappoint.
why I also like to dip them in my tzatziki. <laughs> Never disappoint except right now. It's giving gym socks. Let me try, I might've gotten a bad one, hold on. Also for the sandwich, some pesto, some mayonnaise so that we can mix it with some sriracha for the salmon bowl, some lemon pepper, bread as per usual. And then I think that's it. Then we got some water and we got a little sourdough baguette for the sandwich as well. If the sandwich comes out good, then we can make it for you guys. But I feel like this vlog is already like kind of long. Is it? I don't know. John, will you try this chip? You're gonna try the chip. Here, try that. Uh uh. Does it not no, give why does feet? It, smell bad? it smells bad, right? Yeah, those aren't good. I can probably just throw those away. You're gonna eat those? See, wow. it's, you didn't finish it. You didn't no, finish it. I you didn't finish it. It smells weird. No, and then... I don't want to eat it because it smells bad, so I can't get past that. I'm not pushing past that. That's not, it's really bad. Not my journey. That's your journey. But you know they not don't. They journey. haven't tasted like that before. Let me try to dip it in tzatziki and see if it helps. What? You're gonna dip a gym sock in tzatziki? It and doesn't. It, it does it not taste like gym socks? I mm. told you that. It tastes. It just tastes rotten. <gasps> but why? Mm. How could these go rotten? Sometimes, sometimes those um. Uh, they go, hot Cheetos taste smell bad too. They do. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Then I eat it anyway. Close your eyes and kiss me. Come on, kiss me. Come here, let's eat. Okay, this is my last one. Mm. Mm. Obviously the, the tzatziki helps it, but I think you're right, we have to throw them away. Literally after I say I've never, they've never done me wrong. Didn't even get one like that though. That tastes great. Mmm. Mm. It's like a Mexican blend with a Yeah. Blend. I wouldn't even say that it's a heat. It's just like a Mexican blend. I like it, okay. That's a new one. So like two years, three years, but you know, I self tan a lot and they just get dirty. We like white sheets. So yeah, you just have to replace them.
All right guys, we went back to Target and we got the rest of the stuff that we needed. So we got some pillowcases from Room Essentials, just like some soft ones. And then we got this Casa Luna Linen Blend Duvet cover sheet. Uh, we got another one of these pillows. I think that these are also from Casa Luna or Threshold, I can't tell, hold on. I think they're Casa Luna. No, yeah, they're Casa Luna. Um, I don't know if these are like, I hate the word chuggy, but I'm like, are these chuggy? We'll see how they go. We got pillows that didn't have blue on them so that they won't like show through. And now we're gonna make the bed and we'll see if all this like goes together. Yeah, I like that better. Rip that chocolate right there. Okay, that's so cute. All right, I'm gonna give you give a review of the bed now. Love, love, love this duvet cover. It's from Casa Luna. I'll link it below. It's really cool because the thing with linen is that like it's so cooling and I also love like the texture that it gives but it can be like a little bit rough on the opposite side that you're like that's touching your body so this is actually like a cotton or maybe I don't know I literally have no idea about any like fabric but this is like a soft cotton and then the outside is the textured linen love that I also love this color um I'm going to literally create this exact same thing on our bed because I loved it so much. It's kind of what I was like testing out. Then we have this Casa Luna quilt underneath, which so, so beautiful. I love this color. It's kind of like, mm, like a natural, like a darker natural color. This is kind of like an oatmeal color. These are, I have no clue where these are from. These are from our couch. Has a little bit of chocolate on there. This is also from Target. This is from, I think Threshold, but it looks like very vintage. And then the, this little set came with two shams. All right, and then the sheets are from Brooklinen and that's the bed. Then we were gonna try these out, but they didn't look very good. So we're gonna be returning these. And I think I have one other thing that I got from Target that I wanna show you, hold on. Really quickly, the other few things that we got at Target were these pillows. They're supposed to be for our main living room. Um, we've had them on the couch for like a few days and I don't know if I love them, so we might return them. Not sure yet. And then we got two candles from Threshold. This is the Masala Rose. I just love short round candles right now. They're like the only things that I buy. This is like the highest that I'll get. This one's also from Threshold, but this is their, oh my God, it's the same one. I like what I like. And then this beauty, tell me if this isn't something that you'd find at like the Rose Gold Blue Market. So freaking stunning. This is Threshold Studio McGee Marble Dish and it was $25. And I've been looking for something like this. And every time I go to the thrift store, not the thrift store, every time I go to like the, and every time I go to the flea market, either they're not the right size, not the right shape, something, they're either like $150. So this one's $25 and this is gonna sell out. If I can find it, I will link it for you guys. And that concludes this week's vlog, I think. I really like how that room turned out. I pretty much did that room so that I could see if I liked it to recreate it on our bedroom. And now I want to, so is that weird if I do that? I just want to do that so bad because it looks so freaking cute. So yeah, love it. I'll link everything down below. And if this is the end of the vlog, bye. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one.